Migaloo, three stories, elevator. This has an attached piece of land where you can build anything you like. You could build a pickleball court. You could put a game room with a bowling alley. You could do a basketball court. You could do an extra giant pool. You could turn this five bedroom house into actually nine bedrooms if you wanted to. The options are endless. From the outside looking in, this is a luxury three level home, five bedrooms, total square feet, 6,700. 140 and this has really just been on market for about three months. This is the last villa of seven. There's only seven of these gonna be made and this particular type, there's only two. And this one is gonna be actually better than, than its brother right next to him. Just looking at this style here, you don't see anything like this in Cabo. You don't see any sort of luxury boho chic style properties. They don't exist. Why? They're expensive to build. People don't do it. People are doing these cookie cutter type homes. There are some people doing custom but very few and nothing like this this is a five bedroom house all five bedrooms have an ocean view that's probably the only villa in all of Cabo where all five bedrooms have a view. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. Post it in the comments. It could be set up into literally 10 bedrooms if you wanted. It's probably overkill. What I would like to see is somebody to take this side lot here and make this into a game room, put in a bowling alley. You know that we don't have bowling here in Cabo. If this guy gets it and I sell it to him, well then I make a friend and I get to go bowling. Okay, now here's the outside look. This would be the level two and this is a level three. So you're gonna have a nice big entrance way here. It's not gonna be quite as big as this. A few more feet down, but it's pretty close. We've got the G-Wagon there, baby, let's go. So this property is located right behind and right to the side of Nueva España. Nueva España is fractional. Nueva España was to sell, it'd probably be a $15 million home, possibly more. This house, well, I'm gonna tell you the price at the end. And the commission, like I said, guys, five points. That's unheard of for a multi-million dollar property. So again, the location in Kivir, right next to Nueva España and you've got an ocean view from the ground floor when you pull into the motor lobby you got an ocean view not just ocean sand view now why this villa villa 5 is better than villa 6 Nueva España owns this land here are they ever gonna do anything with it I don't know I've been here five years they've done nothing with it but you have to be careful even if they were to build Nueva España phase two, which I don't see any, you're good. Your view is, is blocked, which is great. Secondly, this is the back entrance. That's that boho chic, elegant feel. You don't get that here. This isn't wood. This is like a pellet compound that will last a lifetime. This is the motor lobby. You pull in, park your car. You've got a bedroom right here on your right. Storage rooms that are well big enough to be two more bedrooms if you actually wanted them to be. So technically you could make this already a seven bedroom home. Hop in the elevator. You go up to your, they're calling it the first floor, but really it's the second floor. That's where we got all of your bedrooms. Well, three of the bedrooms, all of which have a ocean view. Now in the back side here, that's where we have the den. And this den could be turned into a man cave. Actually, you could extend this wall here and you could do a theater room like I did here in my studio. Kind of all the changes, any changes you want, we can do. That's the cool thing about it. This is the top floor, the third floor. They're calling it the second, but really it's the top. Got out of your elevator you walked out I mean you've got a floating pool here you've got the fireplace you've got your 95 inch TV on the wall you've got your bar over here with your bartender if you like we probably got some hot chicks laying around I mean this place is awesome for the price the amount of ROI that you're gonna have at the end of this is gonna be ridiculous there's only seven of them so it's supply and demand and these are completely custom there's nothing else like this it's not like a, a Coronado you know where they're all quite similar or a you no Copala, you know, similar. And this model, there's two, and this is gonna be the better one. This is the back kitchen area, extremely clean, and this is the master bedroom right on the other side. And the view from here, guys, absolutely spectacular. Now keep in mind, this has an extended piece of land. So we could extend the ground level and the second level. If we wanted to have a giant room here, we could do it one of two ways. 
We could either knock out this wall here, make this into a giant master here. We could actually extend the house all the way over and have the biggest master you've ever seen if you wanted to, because we have an extra roughly 1200 square feet. And again, you can build that up two levels and you could just continue on with the house. Now, if you want it cheaper, you could just build a little casita. You could do like an outside yoga area. You could do a, in a pool. I still think a game room would be cool. Really whatever you want. Or you could make freaking 10 bedrooms if you really wanted to. Five points. The commission on that buy inside comes out to 170K. That's some pretty good money. If you're good at math, what's the price on this? 3.4 million bucks. You gotta get 35% down to start building. And this is about a 14 month build. Well, they say 14. We can get it done in 10 if you want. Literally going to be the coolest project in Cabo San Lucas. And when it's done, it's gonna be four, seven, five million. You got a million in equity right off the bat.